Hi Pisces, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of July 1st through the 7th. This is for Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising Signs. So Pisces, for this reading, I am using the Everyday Witch Tarot. I'm also pulling you a Mystical Wisdom Oracle card. Okay, let's see here, Pisces. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Queen of Cups. Definitely reading for some Pisces females. All right, let's see here. Um, for other Pisces, you might be dealing with a, a water sign female. So Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Uh, let's see here. Okay, interesting. We have the Four of Cups underneath the Queen of Cups. And then we have the Page of Cups, so that's interesting. We have the High Priestess underneath. So there could be, hmm, this is interesting. Um, so for you Pisces, there could be something going on within a relationship or some of you are single and you're being offered love here this week. So there could be an offer of love that's in front of you here, Pisces, for those of you that are single. Four of Cups for me can be someone who wants more, um, can represent being offered something that isn't exactly what you were hoping for. It can be like a no thank you, I'm not interested. And so I feel like for you singles, this this is love coming in or, or something that's being offered to you on the love front. Something that's being offered to you here, but you might not be interested. I definitely could be reading for some Pisces females. Um, you know, you might be a very, very independent person. Maybe you like being alone. So maybe, or maybe you've been single for a long time. So for some of you, it's like love is is knocking at your door here maybe there's someone who's interested in you um this week it could be an offer of the of love that's in front of you but some of you maybe aren't interested some of you could could you know take this person up here it just depends on you know who you are it will be different for all of you but i definitely am reading for some pisces women that it's maybe you're like that unattainable woman maybe it's hard to impress you, something like that, or maybe you just like being single. Um, other Pisces, Four of Cups, Queen of Cups. Uh, Four of Cups can be that emotional boredom, feeling a little flat. Maybe some of you are even waiting on something to come in here. The overall energy for you guys for the week is justice. So interesting. Um, so for some of you, it could be a legal matter. If you have like an ongoing like lawsuit or something like that, uh, for some of you Pisces, you could be offered like a legal settlement, but maybe it's not going to be as, as much as you were hoping for. Maybe you were asking for like a certain amount of money. And so there might be a compromise that you have to make. Uh, for those of you that have like a lawsuit that's ongoing, there could be an offer that's coming to you and you might have to compromise, but it's on you. You know, if you wanna accept, you can. You, you don't have to, it's, it's on you. Um, other, other Pisces, maybe a contract is significant. Uh, there could be a contract um, that is maybe presented to you here this week, Pisces. Other Pisces, balance. Um, balance could be something that's significant for you, maybe needing to balance your thoughts, your emotions. Or, you know, if you have a lot going on, for some of you, there could be a child or children in your life, maybe just balancing your time for some of you. Um, but we're starting out with the Seven of Pentacles, which can represent you planting seeds. We do have a new moon here this week, so um, some of you could be planting new seeds, investing a lot of time and energy into something. Now, if you are starting something new at here at this time, Pisces, um, needing to be patient with the Seven of Pentacles. It will require that time. Um, you will see growth uh, 
over a period of time. So needing to be patient while things grow. Um, here, you could even be investing in something that, you know, maybe not all is known here. We have the moon. And so seven of pentacles with the moon, investing a lot of time and energy into something where maybe there is some sort of uncertainty with this, or you don't have all the information yet. The moon is that tricky energy. And so for some of you that I'm reading for, maybe not all is known when it comes to a particular matter. Uh, if you've already been working very hard on a project or something, you've already planted those seeds, if you're waiting on that growth, there could be, there could be a little fear, there could be some emotional energy that you're dealing with, um, so needing to maybe ground yourself for some of you. Stand your ground. So something could be up in the air or a little confusing. Maybe some of you also need to, with the Seven of Pentacles, maybe even make some changes here at this time. Ask yourself if you want to invest in something anymore or do you want to make some changes. Um, some of you, though, here we have the Seven of Wands. So even if something is feeling confusing or it's emotional, there, you know, not all is known, the outcome isn't known, there is uncertainty with this, I feel like you guys should stand your ground. If this is something you really want, you've worked very hard, you've invested in this, I feel like the outcome will be favorable, but just don't quit. Don't back down. With this moon energy, it can be a little tricky. So there could be... You know, some, there could be some places you're feeling very emotional here this week, a little confused as far as maybe the progress that you've made, but I would just kind of, you know, stay focused, maybe needing to ground your energy. Don't give up on this. With the four of wands here, I feel like some of you, this is what you're moving towards, which is your ships coming in, which is reaching a level of success and feeling quite secure. So those of you that are planting those seeds, if this is like within your career, you know, I feel like this is a place that you're going to get to. Four of Wands for me, you can see here on this, on this card, they are basically celebrating. There's balloons, they're celebrating um, something here and so i feel like the outcome is very favorable for you but you just might need to be patient we have strength here you might need to rely on this inner strength but you have it you can get through it seven of wands energy is someone who you know is incredibly passionate and as long as you don't quit you don't back down you will be successful for those of you that this is with a legal matter again you could have something that's being offered to you whether or not you take it is on you some of you though could be you know standing your ground maybe you want more we do have the four of pentacles which it can be a little bit of like a stubborn energy sometimes and so here with strength yeah some of you want more you might have your heart set on something in particular. And so some of you want more. If it's not if it's not with a legal matter, I mean, this could be within your career. This could be within a relationship, to be honest. Um, you know, I feel like some of you, you definitely have your mind made up on something here. You want what you want. Um, but you just might need to be patient a little bit longer for some of you Pisces. Here we have the Knight of Cups, we have the Page of Swords, and so news is coming in. Now, some of you could hear something at the end of the week. Uh, it could also be next week. We do have news, and I feel like with this combination, this is positive. We do have news coming in. It also could be an offer here, an offer that, you know, is exciting, an offer that makes you happy, could be something you're pleased with as well. For those of you that it's like a, a legal, a legal matter here.
you know, I feel like those of you, if you want more, I feel like you can, you can achieve that. That's, you can get that. Especially if you feel like what you're being offered is not fair. Because here with justice, it's like things are going to be equal. So if you feel like something isn't fair, then I would definitely hold out for what is fair to come in. Because with justice here, you know, justice will be served. There will be that very fair outcome. It's just you might have to be patient a little bit longer. And for some of you, for some of you, uh, Pisces, this could be with selling a house. You know, this could be with something to do with property as well. But let's go ahead and pull you an additional guidance card, Pisces. It's actually gratitude. Be grateful for all you have. So yeah, you have a lot to be thankful for, Pisces. So we actually see, we see three children here on this card. We see three children here on this card. So some of you definitely have a family. So be thankful for everyone, everything that you have in your life, and a thankful heart, uh, a grateful heart just attracts more blessings. And so, yeah, it is a week to just maybe be around friends, family, celebrate each other. Um, some of you, yes, you might need to be strong or you might need to be patient a little bit longer. There might be some uncertainty with something, but we have justice here. Um, so there will be that that fear outcome. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, it's going to be a good week for you. Some of you may be needing to balance your thoughts or your emotions. Uh, or, you know, if you're spending extra time with the family. Um, yeah, so balance could be uh, significant for some of you. But yeah, overall, it's going to be a good week, Pisces. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttarot.com. Have a great week.